Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow cabbage in Erongodan Bounty Basic. This variety is called Copenhagen Market. According to the package instruction, the maturity date I am seeing is uh, 65 days. I am not sure if it is from the seed or from the transplant. Let's figure it out. And also let's see whether this cabbage will work out in Erogoden or not and how exactly it is going to turn out. The cabbage plants are going to grow really wide. So I am planning to grow only two plants in this hydroponic system. I am placing uh, three seeds in each pod just for backup and uh, starting with two pods. Generally cabbage seeds should have very good germination rate but I don't want to take any chances so I am going with a couple of backup. That's why I am going with uh, three seeds in each pod. That's it. It is very easy and straightforward to start this experiment. As always, I will add water, but I will not add the nutrition right away. I will start adding the nutrition once I see the seedlings. That is one way to prevent algae developing on the sponges. And germination doesn't need any nutrition. That's it. This garden is all set and good to go. It's been 9 days. I see pretty good germination. I see 2 seedlings in one pod and 1 seedling in the other pod. This is the reason I always go with some backup seeds. Luckily I put uh, 2 seeds and one of them germinated. If I put only 1 seed and that seed gave up, I would be wasting 9 days here. Anyway, now that I see the seedlings, I will start adding the nutrition. I will use aerogoden nutrients for now. I know aerogoden is going out of business and it's time to find other nutrients. But um, for this experiment, I am going to continue using aerogoden nutrients. It's day 25. Both plants are coming excellent and they are well established now. Now that they are well established, I will move them to the edges and leave enough room in the center. One of the reasons I always start the seedlings at the center and move them to the edges later on is the light at the center is very concentrated and as it goes to the edges the light gets a little bit weak. If the seedlings are too small they are not capable enough to absorb the light and if the light is already weak they even struggle and the growth will be very slow. But if I keep them at the center, since the light is very concentrated at the center, even though the seedlings are small, they can absorb enough light and they grow faster and they, they can show good progress. That is the reason I always start in the center. Whatever the hydroponic system I am using and whatever the plants I am growing, I always start at the center and move them to the edges later on. Here is the root system on day 25. It is well established but not too complicated to move the plants around. Very easy to handle them. It's day 42. The plants are coming excellent. Look at these plants how well they established. Wow. These plants are in fact looking very beautiful. And this is where the cabbage is supposed to come. I don't want to disturb it. But just curious okay no signs yet but uh, the plant is shaping up very well looking so beautiful it is looking ornamental wow it's day 84 the plants are doing excellent look at this how well they are shaped up and uh, i see the cabbage formation here this is really another amazing news i see a lot of uh, tip bones here i don't know if this is really a concern Oh, actually it is a concern. I see a little bit of a mold forming here. Wow, this is really bad. I didn't notice until now. I noticed these tip bones, but I didn't notice the mold until this point. I don't know what to do, but I think it needs a little bit of airflow. I actually removed a bunch of leaves from the bottom as they were aging out and showing signs of unhealthy growth. So I removed them. The fresh growth is looking fine, but uh, this mold is really concerning me. I'll try to clean it up. I'm just going to remove this moldy stuff. Oh, looks like it's all around. 
Hmm. Let's see the other side. So yeah, I see a little cabbage formation here as well, but uh, this is looking pretty healthy. Okay, let's see where will this end up. I will just cut out all this nasty moldy stuff and uh, leave it like that and see if it will really survive and uh, turn out to be a cabbage. It's day 119, almost day 120. The cabbages have developed further but they are still pretty small. This one still keep on uh, getting this uh, mold or uh, fungus because the leaves are very tight and they are trapping moisture and this mold is keep on coming here. But uh, very surprisingly the other cabbage is looking super super healthy. They didn't grow that big, they are pretty small, they are super super small compared to the cabbages that we buy at stores but uh, it's not bad. Even getting the cabbages to this size is pretty satisfying but uh, this is not really a great result I expected. I expected this cabbage to grow at least uh, double of this size. This one actually comparatively a little bit big in size but uh, most of it gone bad. So I don't know how much I will get if I remove all these outer leaves. Anyway, I'm going to harvest the cabbages now. Since it is day 120, there is no point uh, keeping these cabbages. So I'm going to harvest these cabbages and start over with uh, some other variety. As I'm harvesting the cabbage, I peeled out all the outer leaves and here it is. One looks really good, but unfortunately the other gone really bad. As I am peeling, all I am seeing is these spoiled leaves. So there is no use of this cabbage, but uh, this one is really good. So this is all I got from my 120 days of cabbage experiment. Now I am going to harvest it and check the weight. Look at this, so beautiful. At the same time, let me also cut this one and see if there is any good pot inside. Uh, there is only a little bit of good pot but most of the leaves are spoiled. Wow! If this didn't have this mold or uh, this uh, nasty issues and turned out to be a good one, this experiment is a lot more successful but uh, it's not bad. The success is not about the yield, it is about the satisfaction we get with that. I am so happy with this experiment. Now it's time to measure the weight. Here we go. It is 7 ounce, not bad. Overall, the result is not super great, but definitely this is a pretty interesting and a satisfying experiment. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy aero gardening.